Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another video in the world of Corvette news. Today I have some intriguing but yet exciting news for the Corvette family. If you would like to support the channel, click that thumbs up and also if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, just hit that thanks button below and check out the options. Now let's get to it. This news is something that has the whole entire Corvette world anticipating and on edge about the next move. On May 26, 2022, GM filed a new application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office for the name Corvette Grand Sport. The application was assigned serial number 974-30541 and filed under goods and services category for motor land vehicles, namely automobiles, SUVs, trucks, or vans. What does that mean? It's back. Well, in all seriousness, the trademark can mean one of three things. First, that GM is creating the middle child between the Z06 and the Stingray for the C8 platform. And most Corvette enthusiasts know that the Grand Sport is gonna be the aesthetics essentially of the Z06 package along with the LT2 engine that's in the current Stingray edition. So it'll be more likely equipped with the 6.2 V8 LT2 along with the aesthetics of the Z06, even though that one hasn't even arrived yet officially. It's been announced, we've seen them, they haven't been produced for consumers. Now, in my opinion, I think it's gonna have the aesthetics of the standard Z06. I don't think it'll be anything by way of the Z07 package aesthetics. Could be totally wrong, um, but this is this scenario if they're preparing it for the C8 platform, the current C8 platform. I think it would just be the uh, pretty much the wide body and a very similar, if not the exact same, front fascia that's on the current Z06 that's touring the country but hasn't landed in dealerships for sale yet or haven't any orders haven't been put in or anything like that so um i think that would be it well i know you're probably saying well they just announced a new hybrid and they haven't even produced the Z06 for consumers yet yeah so in this situation i think there'll be so many variables going on with gm um, haven't even gotten the Z06 uh, out the door uh, for uh, mass production yet or this new uh, hybrid version that you know they released the video on a little while back so I think they're just it's like they would be throwing more ingredients into the gumbo without even getting a taste of the gumbo just yet now secondly this could be GM getting ready for the C9 platform we don't know how many years exactly they plan on running the C8 platform so this could all be in preparation. You know, you want they want to make sure that the paperwork is right. Uh, anytime they get ready to roll out a lineup or anything or any new specific platform. So it could be them just getting paperwork right for the C9. You know, who knows? But they definitely have my attention. And if that's the case, I really wouldn't be mad at that because, you know, it's a lot going on right now. Um, a lot of anticipation. Um, we're waiting on different models to come out. They're releasing videos of the all-wheel drive hybrid. And I think throwing something else into that was just just make it too much i believe so i would like to see the z06 orders start to go in people start to receive those um z06s i would like to see more about the um the um, actual hybrid see some more some numbers and and find out an official release date i know they said uh the summer fall time frame but before we get to going into anything else um and not only that um let's work on these constraints that we have on the current Stingray, the 2023. Um, and people are still dealing with constraints for the 2022s that they're receiving. So I, I would like for GM to get all of that straight before we start stirring the pot with more ingredients. And lastly, maybe this is a, a stretch for some, but not for all, you know, uh, I don't think it's a stretch for me. Maybe that all new hybrid will be taking on the name of the Grand Sport. As we seen from the video release, you saw the aesthetics of the Z06, um, but you didn't hear the sound of the Z06. And they said that they were gonna put the uh, LT2 engine in the hybrid, and then you're gonna have the front working off the electric motor. So maybe this could be the hybrid Grand Sport. Who knows? And that could be very plausible because they may say, hey, we want to do a grand sport, but not only just add aesthetics to it, maybe we want to give it a little bit more power. So let's go with the hybrid, the all wheel drive function. So that could step the grand sport up a, a little bit on their, uh, you know, on their hierarchy, so to speak, 
um, of Corvettes. So I don't think that's too far-fetched, but it's just my opinion. Now for a quick history lesson on the Grand Sport, it was a project originated in 1962 by the man himself, Zora, to create somewhat of a lightweight racing version of the C2. But it was essentially done behind the backs of the GM execs at the time, and they didn't want to approve it. They didn't approve it, uh, so they were only able to get out five of these back in uh, 1962. Well, let me know what you think about why GM decided to trademark Corvette Grand Sport um, a couple of days ago. Uh, drop it down in the comments below. Give me your ideas if they're any different from mine. If you uh, agree with some of mine, let me also know in the comments below. And as more information comes out about this, I'm gonna definitely give it to you as soon as I can. Um, I wanna give you the right information, not the fast information. And if you found any information in this video valuable, do me a favor hit that thumbs up and if you'd like to donate to the channel hit the thanks button below and check that out and until next time next video next corvette news it's your main man really rails see you later peace